I also want to thank President Trump for all the things he did for Israel, from recognizing Israel's sovereignty over the Golan Heights to confronting Iran's aggression. Israel will fight until we destroy Hamas's military capabilities, end its rule in Gaza, and bring all our hostages home. That's what total victory means, and we will settle for nothing less. The day the day after we defeat Hamas, a new Gaza can emerge. My vision for that day is of a demilitarized and de-radicalized Gaza. Israel does not seek to resettle Gaza, but for the foreseeable future, we must retain overriding security control there to prevent the resurgence of terror, to ensure that Gaza never again poses a threat to Israel. Who do not seek to destroy Israel. That's not too much to ask. I also want to thank President Trump for all the things he did for Israel, from recognizing Israel's sovereignty over the Golan Heights, to confronting Iran's aggression, to recognizing Jerusalem as our capital, and moving the American embassy there. Di antara banyak sumber informasi, kami layak dipercaya. Karena kami menggali lebih dalam berpihak pada kebenaran, berpegang pada data dan fakta, agar layak Anda jadikan referensi. Kompas TV, independen, terpercaya.